Okay, for the previous couple of problems, we've started out with a number of moles of something, found the conversion factor using the periodic table uh, from grams to moles, that's what that molar mass really is, and we've calculated in the end how many grams we have. So we started with number of moles, and we get to number of grams, right? Um, here we're going to flip it around. We're going to start with the number of grams of something and convert how many moles that really represents. But the same process it, it really is there. Uh, you're going to use the periodic table to get that conversion factor and then you're going to set up a unit conversion and you're, you're going to get the answer. Um, but it's really the same as we've done before, it's just we're going the opposite direction. So let's say we're going to find how many, many moles are in 98.6 grams of HNO3. So here we have a chemical formula. We're measuring out in the lab how many grams we have, and we want to find out how many moles that's equal to. So we go into the periodic table, and we look at for um, nitrogen. Let's look at hydrogen first. Hydrogen, it's 1.0079 grams per mole. For nitrogen, which is the next guy, it's 14.0067 grams per mole. And for oxygen, we see that it's 15.994 grams per mole. And I promise you, if you do this enough times, you're just going to end up memorizing most of these common elements. But So we have that there. So for HNO3, we just simply add them up. So here we have 1.0079 plus the N with the nitrogen is 14.0067 plus three atoms of oxygen. So we'll have three atoms of this guy, which is 15.994. All right. And so what we have is HNO3. So we add this plus this. We have to do a little multiplication first and add that in. And what, we, what you get when you do that is 63.0128, and the unit is gram per mole. So what this means is, this is an intermediate helpful step. For HNO3, uh, it's 63.0128 grams for every mole of that stuff, for every mole of that stuff. So what we want to do is use it as a conversion factor. That's what we're doing here. What we write down first is what we have to start with. We have 98. 0.6 grams of HNO3. Grams of HNO3, that's what we have. All right, now let's use this conversion factor. If we write it down just as it sits, we'll have 63.0128 on the top, grams on the top, moles on the bottom. So I have moles on the bottom, grams over here, nothing is going to cancel if we write it that way. All right, so if you put gram, I mean, we can just write it there, grams per mole. So if we write it like that, nothing will cancel because you have to have something on the top and the bottom to cancel. So it's not going to work. So you flip it upside down. You say 63.0128 grams per mole. And notice how I have HNO3 up here. I'm just using that as descriptive text. I mean, I can write it here too. This is grams of HNO3 and moles of HNO3. It depends on how much stuff you want to write. I'm kind of being explicit because I'm trying to teach you, but you know, you don't have to write everything here as long as you know what you're canceling. So the grams cancels with the grams. Now notice, since we flipped it over, the 63 is on the bottom now. So now you're dividing these numbers. This is an implied 1, so you're multiplying by 1, dividing by this. So when you do this, 98.6 divided by that 63 number down there, what you're going to get is the number 1.56.